Hello everyone, this is the final project of uh, online matrimonial system and uh, we have a two projects, you know, uh, this, this is the old project, so copied from old and paste into the new system that is received messages, you know the received messages, the messages uh, who want to send messages to the bride and the grooms and uh, uh, received, I mean to say that that is the request, you can say, so uh, received messages. Uh, add a new view system in the home controller and just copied from the old project the code of the received uh, messages and paste into the new project that is there and also change the new project uh, namespace that is message view model okay so received messages we have a user manager and authenticated user only uh, received messages now after that you can uh, copy the next thing that is the search category you know the search category i mean to say that that is the filter system uh, lots of uh, filter i mentioned in the project but uh, working only the two because um, you can work very well uh, i know uh, after that after learning that project so you can design yourself so just copy it from the old project to the new project and uh, matrimonial project name is page search view model is the model name and also we have a helpers class and in which class we have a uh, in um, list for the filters like age salary religion city caste and marital status and that list is bind with the select list in um, select list search categories and we have a division options uh, also we have a text uh, te uh, divisions that is a text box container that is empty division and that division is bind dynamically by the text boxes and also we have a um, uh, partial view that is get user data with the model lot users in which model search view model we have a list of users you can check in the view model search view model we have a list of user view models so model dot users okay that's fine now after that uh, that is the code for the dynamically uh, bind uh, the text boxes that is minimum age and maximum age okay if you select uh, one from the uh, searching list then uh, age wise search you can do okay that is the dynamically selected list now after that uh, that is the user view model in the partial view so just right click on uh, the home folder and uh, add a view underscore get user data actually partial view is named uh, with the underscore so you can identify easily so underscore uh, get user data in the user view model okay so matrimonial project dot view models dot view model search view model that is the partial view okay that's fine now uh, after that uh, the get uh, search category you can design for the post search category also uh, in the post category you can uh, see that vm dot selected equals to zero i mean to say that only get age and vm dot selected equals to one i mean to say that you can get the salary of the users both bride and groom dip, uh, search their uh, age and the salary so just run it uh, of your project and check the desired outputs okay now click on the register button and uh, name of the bride is Megha and uh, date of birth age city just fulfill it cast gender marital status relations occupations salary and the image path also so just set any images uh, that is related to the bride and uh, just upload it and that image will upload it into the ww root folder uh, uh, inside the ww root folder okay so just create the passwords okay so now saved it uh, a bride actually uh, see the pictures of the uh, groom so just send the messages to the groom okay uh, just uh, hidden some uh, some uh, things 
in the layout pro project layouts so also when we click on the matrimonial project named just redirect to the home page that is the missing thing in the also the selected user profile with the image path actually clear the image in the selected user profile so just clear uh, all things one by one just open the layout.html and in the old project first of all index async method in the home controller and open old project layout.cshtml and just copied if user.identity. is authenticated just copied and paste into the new system and if user is authenticated then uh, message send messages received messages and search categories will show to the user okay you can check also you can use authorizations and uh, role management uh, roles you can say send messages is there but the name is missing also uh, received messages uh, received messages also uh, hold so uh, just open uh, profile dot uh, uh, that is the it's all thing is uh, good but the mapping is not matched with your uh, data so because the message view model we have a sender id it's actually a uh, design a to uh, a new view model for that system because you can check in the my profile dot uh, that is the message uh, convert to the message view model also message dot received message view model that is the old project and this is the new project uh, that is so masses message view model masses message view model but the four member hold two other property that is the receiver name and the sender name so conflict there so just create a received message view model also in the view model class received view model but also the received view model contain the same property of the message view model that is content and the name just copy it and paste it here okay so just resolve your problem uh, and uh, received view model in the view section also in the re received message dot cshtml file uh, in the received messages also in the mapping section you can add a received message view model now saved it and uh, run it again don't forget please subscribe my channel uh, if you like this video please 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 subscribe my channel that is there received messages c profile uh, image path is not shown you just copied uh, the selected user profile dot cshtml and paste the image section and particular path of the image so guys what's up uh, uh, how's like your video and please 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 share uh, this video for the other users uh, who uh, want to uh, see that see that project and learn many more things about the ASP.NET Core, if you uh, like this, please like this.